Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about loops in Python. So uh, two common loops that you'll most likely use and see a lot in Python are the for loop and uh, the while loop. So to, do, to use a for loop in Python, you use it to iterate over a sequence, sequence of items, whether that be characters in a string or elements in a list. So for example, let's just say we have a list of names. So we create a list and we give them the names uh, Dan, Rob, Mike, and Jen. So if we wanted to iterate over this list in some languages, in JavaScript for example, you would do something like for var i equals zero, i is less than the, the length of the, the, um, the list, and then iterate uh, through every element. So in Python, it's actually really easy to iterate through a list. You just do for and then the variable. So in this case, we could do i in names. And now you have access to each. So now i is each element within the list. So you can do something like print i. And if we run your code, you, well, let's print it with a space. We get Dan, Rob, Mike, Jen. So it's really easy to iterate through um, a list in Python. And we can actually also do it another way. So we can loop through a range and then access each element uh, according to the index. So instead of iterating through the, um, the list directly, we can do something like for i in uh, range, and then the range is zero and the length of the list. And now we can do print names of i plus space. And we get the same result. So that's two ways that, so this is a little more similar to how you would loop in other languages. You specify the starting point, how, how long you're gonna be looping, and then the iterator is um, implicitly one. Um, if you wanted to skip, then you could do something like two, and now it just prints every second element. So it prints Dan, skip, Mike, skip. So you get Dan and Mike. So this is similar to how for loops are in um, other languages, uh, but a more Python way of doing it would just be for i in word, uh, sorry, for i in names, and then just printing i with a space to make it easier and you get all of them. Um, another useful thing with Python uh, loops is that you have you can create um, a range of numbers really easily. So you can just, you have access, so if you did range of 10, so if you print range of 10, you just get a list of numbers. So it's really easy to loop through um, a list of numbers. You could just do for uh, i in range 10, and you can print i and you get a list of numbers. So that's really easy. Um, another type of loop that's common is a while loop. So you can do something like, so a while loop will run until a certain condition is false. So if we have while, so let's create a counter. So counter equals zero. So while counter is less than the length of names. So we'll print names of counter and then we have to increase the counter, otherwise we'll go into an infinite loop. So we'll do counter plus equal one. So we add one to counter, and every time we're printing um, the, um, each element of names. So if we run this code, let me add a little space to make it easier, and we get all the elements of the list. So these are two uh, common loops you'll see in Python. It's really easy to use both of them. Python makes it really easy and really intuitive. Um, another really useful thing in Python is that you have what's called list comprehension, and we'll cover this more in detail. We'll cover this in detail more in another video. Um, but you can do things like names, and obviously you can access each element in the list. So you can just uh, print names of zero by using uh, list indexing. But you can do something like names of two colon, and this will print all the names starting at the in, uh, at the second index and printing all of them. So 0, 1, 2. So it should print Mike and Jen. So we get Mike and Jen. Then you can do interesting things like print from 0 to 3 and go backwards. So a negative number indicates go from the end, start from the uh, end of the list, and the 1 represents uh, print every element. Oops, I had to do that backwards. So I'm starting from the end of the array and I'm looping all the way to zero, stepping backwards by one. So in this case, we start from the end 
and we print Jen, Mike, Rob. Uh, you can also print the last element in an array by doing negative one. So that's a really way to access the last element in a list in Python. Uh, so let's let's uh, solve a really simple challenge using uh, 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 loops in Python. So let's just say we had a list of we have a sentence. So send equals hello world random letters. So this sentence is a weird little sentence composed of uh, characters that are, some are uppercase and some are lowercase. So let's just say we wanted to loop through each uh, word in the sentence and convert each character to lowercase. So in Python it's really easy, we would do for w in sen, so if we print w, we should get each character printed, so print, so actually we'll just print w. So we get the whole sentence. So if we so what we can do is first split this string into an array. This way we'll have access to each character uh, more easily. So we'll do sen equals list. We use the list function on this string. And now when we loop through the um, loop through sentence, we can act so if we print sen, this is what we get. We get an array of characters. So now when we loop through it, we're, act we're accessing each character. So what we'll do now is we'll set, um, we'll do it this way, 4w in range 0 to length of sen. So we're looping through the uh, list now, and what we'll do is we'll do sen of w, because w is now looping through a range, 0 to the end of the list. So we'll set the current character equal to the character and then we'll set it equal to its lowercase. And then if we print the resulting sentence, all of the characters are lowercase. And so now if we want to join it back into a string, we use the string join function, which looks like this. And we get hello world random letters. So all of the characters have been set to lowercase. So this is a really simple example of using a loop uh, to loop through a string. Uh, first we convert it into a list using the list function. And yeah, so we'll cover we'll cover lists more in more detail in another video.